Dina, we're in a very unique building. This is the Museum of Commerce, correct? That is correct. The Museum of Commerce, the structure itself, was built in the late 1800s as a warehouse. It's located one street up from Pensacola Bay. So you can imagine when this building was first built, it was a warehouse for goods, uh, as an ice house, a grocer. Um, and now, in the 21st century, we're able to take this large space and interpret it as a museum to tell people the history of Pensacola. And when you walk into the Museum of Commerce today, what you see is basically a downtown streetscape of historic Pensacola Village, namely uh, Palafox Street, the main street of Pensacola, and the businesses that were on Palafox Street from directly after the Civil War, about 1870. And as you move up the sidewalk, you're moving up in time, and you go to 1900 and then to even uh, 1920s, 1930s, with the advent of the gas station and the car and the trolley. So you kind of see how downtown uh, changes throughout that period of history. And it's a very popular place for people to come and visit. It's quite unique and it has a lot of good ambiance. You know, I see the carriages lined up and, and of course you see that. And it's just like today where you park your car on the street <laughs> and these are all parked and I would assume this is the way it would be. That's true, that's true. Except that today we don't have to deal with the hassle of dirt streets, <laughs> right. horses and everything that entails, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. The dusty, you know, dust and and, and when it rains, the, the mud, oh. and we don't have to worry about the sidewalk being, you know, a good, you know, many inches or a foot above to protect us from the dirty streets. So I think there have been several improvements, uh, but it certainly gives you a feel for what downtown Pensacola would have looked like during the time period. Well, you know, Dina, I've heard of a bicycle, of course, bicycle built for two, but I see a bicycle built for three. <laughs> that really catches a lot of people by <laughs> surprise. It's a unique item. It is called a courting bicycle. And uh, during this time period, the late 1800s, bicycles had just been invented. They were a novelty item. They were very, very popular and a popular activity for young and athletic young people uh, to do. So quite often, a young man, when he asked a young woman perhaps to go outside for a picnic, enjoy a summer day perhaps, they might do a little bit of bicycling. But uh, during that time period, of course, you would have to have a chaperone with you. It's not like today where a young man and woman might go out on a date on their own, but they would have to have a chaperone. So we have kind of a, a three-seater bicycle to, for that chaperone to go along with them. And, the, and there's a unique uh, area, uh, of course, when you see P&J, you think of peanut butter and jelly, but this is actually the Pensacola Journal. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we do have a wonderful exhibit back in the back of the Museum of Commerce that discusses the same time period, but it really talks about the history of journalism and the newspaper press here in Northwest Florida uh, from, its, from the late 1800s all the way up to the 1920s, 30s, 40s and 50, and the Pensacola News Journal is certainly a part of that history. But it really focuses on a press room um, during the 1920s. You get a sense for how l loud it is, mm -hmm. um, how noisy, and it would have been a very hot and um, dirty, mm -hmm. cluttered place. To and work missing as well. place, yeah, exactly. that, a lot of stuff on the There's floor. Yeah. Rolled up <laughs> balls of paper everywhere and trash. So, uh -huh. and you, it's a very, very nice little vignette. When you come out of there, mm -hmm. you see this trolley. Uh, I guess this was a hot item back in the 1800s. Well, the trolley, just like other trolley systems in um, other cities like San Francisco or Chicago, Pensacola did have trolleys as well. Um, but they, the high day um, of the trolley system was really in the late 1800s, turn of the century, 1900. And it started with horse-drawn trolleys, but then when electricity came to Florida, Pensacola, they were electric mm -hmm. trolleys, and you would have caught the public transportation system, electric trolley. And, but however, as time progressed, the advent of the car, people started driving cars more, but then really with World War I, and these large world wars. Um, we really saw the trolley disappear from Pensacola because they were used for the war effort, melted down, used for scrap metal. There were a few trolleys that survived that. They were gutted out. They were used for perhaps a, uh, a diner. And in fact, the one in the Museum of Commerce that you see today, we uh, believe that it was used as a diner, painted a bright turquoise uh, blue. But then Mr. Wentworth, uh, who, um, 
is really, I guess you could say, the father of Pensacola history. He's really collected many artifacts, uh, many um, objects of interest in Pensacola history, and started his own museum in the 1950s. He took this trolley and refurbished it to what it would have looked like during its heyday, and he placed it outside of his museum. And then when we took in his collection, we brought in this trolley and placed it inside the Museum of Commerce. Mm, very good. Okay, now we have the Museum of Commerce on one side of the street. Mm -hmm. Then on the other side is the Museum of Industry. That's correct. And the Museum of Industry is another building dating back to the late 1800s, used for the same thing. And we have taken four, we have taken that space and used it for a museum exhibit. And the Museum of Industry tells the story of Pensacola's natural resources, the Gulf of Mexico and the sea life and the fish in the Gulf. Uh, we also have the clay banks in this area and the abundant natural yellow pine. So those natural resources of Pensacola and the industries that came from that, the fishing industry, the brick making industry, and the lumber industry. And then it also talks about the rise of Pensacola's port and its history and the development of the train and the railroad system here in uh, Pensacola and Northwest Florida. Mm -hmm. That's right, you have uh, static displays outside of those trains. <laughs> We do. Um, directly outside of uh, the Museum of Industry is an example of a caboose and a train steam, em uh, steam uh, engine that ran here locally as well. Mm -hmm. T&R Miller Company. Mm -hmm. Now, are these, uh, are these buildings, commerce and industry, open uh, to the public every day? We are open Tuesday through Saturday, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning until 4. The Museum of Commerce and the Museum of Industry are part of Historic Pensacola Village, which is a ticketed venue. So mm -hmm. guests would need to come to the Tivoli High House Gift Store and Information Center at 205 East Zaragoza Street to purchase their tickets. Um, adult tickets are $6.00. Discount tickets for AAA members, active military, and senior citizens 65 and older are $5. And children ages 4 to 16 are $3. And your tickets are good for a week. But you do have to buy a ticket, and then at your leisure, you can visit the Museum of Commerce, visit the Museum of Industry, and a couple of other self-guided museums, uh, the Julie Cottage, mm -hmm. which interprets our African-American hi uh, history here locally, and then the Manuel Barrios Cottage, which interprets Pensacola during the 1920s. So you can take your time, look through those exhibit spaces, and then your ticket also gives you access to a guided tour at 11, 1, and 2.30. Very good. And you said the ticket's good for a week. That means if you buy it today and you get involved in the Museum of Commerce and didn't get over to the industry, exactly. you can come back. Exactly. If you're just a natural history buff uh -huh. and you just get lost in it and time gets away from you, we give you a chance to come back. If someone wants more information uh, of, about what is available in this historic village, uh, how can they get that? Feel free to visit us on the web at www.historicpensacola.org or just Google Historic Pensacola Village or you may contact us at our administrative offices at 850-595-5985.